what did really happen to the Library of Alexandria. 23 years ago, the ruler of Alexandria set out a goal to collect all the knowledge under one roof. And that is how the Library of Alexandria started. The idea of the library came from Alexander the Great. After establishing himself in the region, he started to think about building the library as an empire of knowledge in his namesake city, Alexandria. But he died before construction began. His successor, Ptolemy I, executed his library plan. We believe that the original library was built with many columns, native Egyptian shapes, and had lecture halls and classrooms. Ptolemy I invited a scholar to live and study in Alexandria at his expense. A huge number of Egyptian and Greek scholars started to flow into the library. At that time, Alexandria was a hub for ships traveling through the Mediterranean. Ptolemy III set up a policy requiring any ship that docked in Alexandria to turn over its books for copying. They kept the original and returned the copy to the ship. The scrolls were written on papyrus paper. The library started to accumulate many books and scrolls making it very difficult to find information on a specific subject. At that time, a scholar named Telemachus of Siren invented a penix with 120 volume catalogs for the library contents, which was the first of its kind. By using the penix, they were able to navigate the library collections. At that time, there were many discoveries, such as Eratosthenes, realized that the earth was round and was able to calculate its circumference and diameter. Heron of Alexandria created the world first steam engine. Then in 48 BCE, Julian Caesar laid siege to Alexandria and set the ships in the harbor on fire. For years until now, a lot of us think that the library was burned because of this fire that was spread into the city of Alexandria. But actually, the fire destroyed only part of the library and the scholars were continuing to visit the library after the fire. But slowly the library started to disappear after the city changed from Greek to Roman. The support from the Roman to the library stopped. A scholar left the city and some murder for studying the library. Slowly by slowly, the library disappeared. To learn more about the Library of Alexandria, ancient and new, please visit video number 30. Thank you for watching.